I'm Dr. Neil Skolnick, and today we're going to talk about the American Headache Society's position statement update on first-line therapy for migraine headaches, and this statement is focused on the calcitonin gene-related peptide-targeting therapies, also called CGRPs. This update is of critical importance because three-quarters of people with migraine headaches get their care from us in primary care, not from a neurologist and not from a headache specialist. The bottom line here is that we're going to discuss that CGRP targeting therapies have absolutely transformed migraine care at a specialty level, but many of us in primary care are still not familiar with this class of medicines because until now, these were second line medications and they weren't viewed for use in primary care. That has all changed with this position statement. Remember, there are two main types of therapy for people with migraine headaches. There is acute or abortive therapy. So when a headache comes on, it's treated. Then there is preventive therapy, typically used when people are having more than four headache days per month. And preventive therapy is aimed at decreasing both the frequency and the severity of a person's headaches. About 40% of all people with migraine qualify for preventive therapy, but only a minority of those people receive preventive therapy. The armamentarium in primary care for preventive therapy of migraines has not changed in a long time until now. First line preventive therapy has traditionally been one of three agents, a beta blocker, a tricyclic, or topiramate. All of these agents have off-target effects. They were all medicines that were created for other uses and then found to be useful for migraines, but those other effects often create side effects or difficulties that make it difficult for patients to tolerate them. Before focusing on the CGRPs, it's worth noting that this update states that based on some new evidence, candesartan, an ARB, is now also a first-line agent. This is good news as ARBs are a class of medicine that we have a lot of experience with. They're easy to use and they are particularly particularly an excellent choice for people with concomitant hypertension or CKD. Also to note, SNRIs, venlafaxine and duloxetine are also considered first-line agents. Now though, let's focus on the focus of this new statement, which is the new recommendations for the CGRP agents. There are two main classes here, monoclonal antibodies, and small molecule CGRP receptor antagonists that are called GPANs. I've included below a list of the agents along with dosing and cost. The role of the neuropeptide CGRP in migraine was originally discovered after finding that levels of CGRP in the blood were elevated during acute migraine attacks. This led to the discovery of agents that blocked CGRP. Multiple clinical studies show the CGRP targeting therapies to be as effective and even more effective than traditional first-line agents at decreasing the number of migraine days per month that a person has. The efficacy and the safety of these agents have been demonstrated in both randomized trials and now also in real-world studies. So the amount of evidence here is very large. They've looked at endpoints of days of migraine. They've looked at endpoints of reducing acute migraine medication use as well as quality of life. And all of them show the CGRPs to be particularly effective. The studies have also shown that CGRP targeting therapies are both well tolerated and safe with very few adverse events. In addition, a number of studies have shown that CGRP targeting therapies are effective in individuals who have failed other first line therapies. So they fit both as first line agents and as agents that can be used in difficult to treat patients, as well as in patients who struggle with acute medication overuse, which is a particularly challenging area. Let me quote from the American Headache Society statement. And they said, 
the evidence supporting the efficacy, tolerability, and safety of CGRP targeting therapies for migraine prevention is substantial in its volume, scope, and quality. In addition here, side effects are uncommon, but they can include hypertension, constipation, and Renaud's phenomena. This position statement is a strong statement, and it's based on a lot of clinical evidence and now clinical experience. The CGRP targeting therapies are now considered first-line agents for the prevention of migraine headache and are a class of agents that we need to learn more about, and we in primary care need to begin to feel comfortable using. They stand to benefit our patients a great deal. I'd suggest looking at the table below, perhaps picking one new agent and become really familiar with it so that you can add this to your toolbox. This is important information. I'm interested in your thoughts. Please leave them in the comments section. I'm Dr. Neil Skolnick, and this is Medscape.